So at this point, we would like to uh, just give you the opportunity to hear Tess sing just a little bit. Goosebumps every time I hear her sing, knowing where she came from the beginning. Look, I've got tears in my eyes already. Okay, and we took Tess's unique situation and brought her to this result. However, your situation, um, it will be unique to you. And it is my responsibility as a speech language pathologist to design and implement a care plan for, for each person with a diagnosis from the ear, nose, and throat. And a vocal evaluation of my own and an assessment of your goals you know what do you want in the end uh, and individualize it and come up with a therapy plan and then take it to the next level I want to I, I wanted to emphasize too that um, the responsibility my responsibility and your responsibility as the patient is to always listen and follow the directions of each person on the team, starting with Dr. Ford, and in my case, then Melissa and Dr. Porterfield. Each of them had their professional and unique ways of t teaching me what to do, and it was my job to, to follow their directions and do the very best I could and be patient the whole time. So, so what do you do? You're sitting there, Maybe you have hoarseness. Maybe you don't even have a voice. Maybe your singing is just not up to par. I think you must realize that when you use your voice in a manner that is professional, or it's a manner in which you're compensated for its use, you have to take a responsible approach to that voice. You should try to think about your voice use the same way an athlete approaches his body. This, as you can see, requires discipline, it requires time, and it requires your effort, your dedication, and your commitment. You have to establish the goals that you have for your voice. The first step, come on into the office, make an appointment, and let's do an evaluation. Thank you. team to help me bring my voice back after losing it completely. Uh, I want to also thank him for giving me the most wonderful husband in the world. 
I've spent nearly 50 years with him and he saw me through this through thick and thin and I really appreciate it honey and I love you very much and um, my um, primary physician Dr. Robert Clark is in Newland, North Carolina and he is very instrumental in helping me to uh, find just the right team to help re rehabilitate my voice. He sent me to uh, Dr. Charles Ford, an ENT specialist in Boone, North Carolina.